What's going on guys? Back at it again with another unboxing video for you guys here on the channel. This one in particular is on the Fidelity Rewards Visa signature card by Fidelity, of course. I am super excited to jump into this one, guys. I've actually been waiting for this card. It's one of the most anticipated cards that I've had so far, mainly because this is one of those cards that directly allows you to invest straight into your investments or any other really account that is managed by Fidelity. Of course, this includes their cash, ma cash management, but of course, in particular, you can uh, invest all of your re rewards for this card directly into your portfolio, allowing you to grow your money even further. But enough yapping for that. We'll get into some of the benefits of this card in a little bit. I kind of want to just jump into this one already. All right, guys, so as per usual, I have already opened it mainly because I had to you know black out some of the information that's sensitive to me of course this is actually a pretty thick envelope thicker than a lot of the other credit cards that i have unboxed here on the channel nothing unique of course it's just a flimsy uh little envelope in nature but a thick envelope to say the least but going into the actual package itself the very first thing is the actual credit card itself we'll get to that in a second we're gonna save the best for last if you will the second thing that we actually have is what makes this very thick this is the actual documentation giving you all of the pertinent information for your card itself like fees and APRs etc etc not very interesting stuff for a video but pertinent for your card specifically so very important to know your card by reading this information if you ever decide to get a card of course i've already read it so i already know the the things behind this card but again not very fun to read off if you will on a video so i'm just going to go ahead and skip it for now but if you ever decide to get a credit card this is one of those things that you should take into consideration when looking at your card so you know all the intricacies with the card itself the second thing on your card is this right here. It's called, uh, it says start making mobile payments. So basically long story short is just an easy way to explain to you that you can make mobile payments and things of that nature. Uh, uh, you know, and everything like that through Apple Pay and Google Pay and all that good stuff. Of course, Samsung Pay, I believe is one. But the fact of the matter is they make mobile paying, if you will, like from place to place using your phone or whatever that you could just go and just tap onto uh, one of those you know card readers and make payments towards whatever purchases you're trying to make that much simpler I've used those pro those systems before absolutely fantastic I love using them makes the whole buying process very simple and of course the fact that it's that it's enabled if you will on this card is a definite plus in my opinion next up we have this right here which of course it says earn unlimited two percent cash back this is one of the biggest factors in determining whether or not this card is a good one or not because it is not just two percent but it's unlimited two percent cash back on this card this is a great great one in my opinion of course when you go into the card itself I'll show you the back here in a second. Let me just go ahead and open this and show you the inside first. That way you guys can see it all for yourself. It gives you an example of how much monthly expenditures and points earned, which translates to how much money, which is a good visual for you guys to have. Redeem your rewards. You can do cash deposit directly into your cash management accounts. Or like I said before, you can deposit it directly into your investment portfolio, allowing you to continue growing your wealth that much easier. It's pretty awesome in my opinion. And of course, manage your account straight from the mobile app and everything and some of the services that they provide through Visa itself on the back end. Nothing in particular, it's just a lot of simple, you know, information, a lot of information on this side. But again, nice little pamphlet. I like the, uh, although it's nothing flashy, nothing spectacular in nature, like say, for example, the M1 uh, owner's rewards card they give you like this cool little box or even the apple card gives you this whole experience with getting a credit card of course and it's nothing flashy like that but i like the presentation of an envelope style uh a credit card again i guess you know this of course is just more information for your visa rewards which is not a necessarily a them a fidelity program but that's more of a of a, of a visa type program of course and then here you have the uh 
same thing as i said before the fact that you can make mobile payments and stuff like that with your with your card is actually pretty awesome it gives you an example on the back on how to use it you just basically look at whether or not uh it has that little symbol and you can just pay by tapping your card straight on the machine and then like it says right here you're on the go absolutely fantastic system guys i love it already uh that much but last but not least of course we have the actual credit card itself and it is a beauty guys i love the way this card looks in my opinion looks absolutely fantastic the back has some little bit of, of information about the card itself um and yeah so i'm not going to show you the back but let's go ahead and remove this from here so that we can get a little bit of a better view of the card itself if this is always the worst part getting it to actually uh focus of course but it looks gorgeous it's an absolutely beautiful card it kind of has like this little shine to it kind of like a pearlescence if you will absolutely beautiful card guys i love this card but that's the unboxing for itself let's go ahead and go to the website and see some of the reasons why i chose this card and some of the reasons why you might be interested in this card so first things first this isn't a review of this card or anything like that it's just an overview of swords uh, maybe perhaps I'll do a review of this card, but for now, like I said, it's just an overview, just some of, some of the things at face value that you might be interested in, so that if you might be actually interested in this card, you guys can go and do further research, and then that way you guys can, uh, of course, get this card for yourself. This card, I, it is important to say that it is a direct competition to uh, one like some of the other cards like the M1 Finance uh, Owner's Rewards card, which is an absolutely fantastic card in my personal opinion, but it also rivals the flat 2% back of cards like the uh, Double Cash by City, which is also a fantastic card, except this card is a little bit more restrictive. We'll get to that in a second. First things for, first, as you see here, this is the F uh, Fidelity Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card, which earns an unlimited 2% cash back on everyday spending, which is absolutely fantastic. Anything that has 2% cash back is a plus in my book. As it says right here, you can spend your rewards or deposit them uh, into any eligible Fidelity account, giving... Uh, your money more chances to grow of course one of the big things here as you can see right here says no annual fee points never expire which is always a plus in my opinion and of course an unlimited two percent cash back on every purchase and then this is the reason why you might be interested in this card in particular is the fact that earning is unlimited with no caps or categories or restrictive or restrictions on this card but furthermore on top of this the redemption process or the means in which you can redeem your uh, rewards is the reason ultimately why you want this card making that investment uh, process so much easier with very little to think about in the process if you want to know uh, you know some some more of the of this of the accounts that you can uh, redeem from of course you have this page right here which gives you examples of where you can uh, redeem your rewards into i'm going to be putting it directly into my brokerage because i do have my roth ira in a different location but you can put it into your ira your hsa which is your health savings uh 529 which is essentially just a college fund um with tax benefits of course great if you have kids in particular of course but you can always change the beneficiaries of that account which is also great fidelity charitable uh giving account and cash management which is essentially just fidelity's version of a checking account so great great place uh in terms of places you can redeem your account now if you don't want to put it directly into your you know investments you can put it into the cash management account which in turn you can send that money into another attached bank account if you will and then use your points or your cash back in that way so there is no real restrictions to your uh you know your methods in which obtaining your your money if you will you can use your cash on anything you want it just has that extra layer uh to to redeeming your 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 points or your cash back if you will right where other accounts or other banks might let you directly send your points to a separate bank account this one you have to redeem it directly to fidelity itself and then in turn send it to another bank account which isn't that problematic if i'm being completely honest but it is that much 
it, it adds that layer of complexity to it which is going to be less attractive to a lot of people but again if you have this card you don't have it for the cash back you have it for the capabilities of redeeming towards your investment portfolios of course one of one of the awesome things about this too is that it is eligible for the fidelity rewards plus uh program by fidelity themselves if you are interested in what the fidelity rewards plus is it's basically a tiered system where you have gold platinum and platinum plus which has different uh earning potentials within each category of course or each tier for example if you go with the gold you have more cash back from the card it goes from a two percent flat to a 2.25 percent but in order to for you to receive the gold tier membership you have to have a minimum of two hundred fifty thousand dollars invested in their account or managed under managed assets under their account so even if you have it in their cash management account that will be qualifying but up to one million dollars if you want the platinum it goes from one million to two million in eligible assets and then of course if you want the platinum plus it's two millions min two million dollars minimum but alongside those again with the two with the gold tier you have 2.25 cash back with the platinum it increases to 2.5 and then of course with the platinum plus you have a three percent which arguably makes this one of the best cashback cards rivals of course bank of america with their similar cashback uh tiered system that they have of course but this has the awesome benefit of being an unlimited card so something to ha uh, take into consideration this could potentially have a lot of you know cashback earning capabilities but that's gonna do it for this one guys like i said it's not a review or anything like that of the fidelity uh rewards visa uh card it's a great card all the way around great for making investing just that much easier of course this isn't a replacement for you making direct contributions to your to your you know investment portfolio this is just something to add on top of your monthly uh contributions so that's great of course i'm not giving you financial advice this is just what the way i see it of course this is a great card for anybody to have to grow their wealth in the long run of course because i'm a firm believer that for every dollar you invest that dollar has the power to compound with other dollars you invest in the future therefore making the earnings potential in the long run just that much more powerful of course the more you invest the more powerful that becomes so like i said this isn't in my personal opinion it isn't a replacement for your direct contributions more so a an addition to those direct contributions so if you're always making a hundred dollars per month for example but then this is making you an extra five dollars a month that hundred dollars turns into 105 dollars per month therefore that 105 can compound instead of a hundred dollars would compound and making it just that much more powerful of course but if you enjoyed this video guys do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces